calculate the and you will get the answer which is 0.3932. In this video, I'm going to spill some tea on how to find probability using binomial distribution formula. So question number one, the probability of getting a bad orange is 0 0.2. CT has six oranges, okay? Calculate the probability that only one orange is bad and the second part of the question all the oranges are good so how to answer this question so first we have to know our binomial formula for the probability question that require us to use binomial formula to answer of course first we have to know the binomial formula itself which is this one it is looking quite scary so why bother? I will just put it down. Yes, we are using it, but you will know why later. For this kind of question, we need to take out four important things, which is X and PQ. X is actually what the event is all about. So in this case, the event is all about getting a bad orange, right? So that is our X. And then our P is the probability of the event. If we are talking about bad orange, the probability of getting a bad orange is our P. So in this case, P is 0 0.2 and Q is just 1 minus P. So 1 minus 0 0.2 is 0 0.8. And then N. N is the total number of any situation. If you are doing an exam and the exam you have and you are having 10 questions in the exam, so your N is 10. If you are shooting a bird and you shoot nine times so your n is nine so n is maximum number of attempts so in this case the n is actually six right because the oranges that we have is six now we can actually apply the formula without even looking at it what i mean so what you should write in your exam is p in the bracket only one orange is bad okay so which is equivalent to p x equivalent to one equivalent to okay this is the fun part so all you have to do is you write c bracket bracket okay and then in your first bracket you write your p which is in this case is 0 0.2 and in your second bracket you write the q which is in this case is 0 0.8 so c bracket bracket 0 0.2 0 0.8 and then out of six oranges so it will be six c one so one is that and this one will be the power for the first bracket and six minus one is five five will be the power for the second bracket that's it and then you key in this in your calculator and you will get the answer which is 0 0.3932 and by the way if you are wondering how to press c the combination symbol it is actually shift divide for the second part of the question all oranges are good which means we are talking about spoiled oranges right so if all oranges are good which means there is none there's zero good orange p in the bracket all oranges are good which means equivalent to p x is equivalent to zero equivalent to C bracket bracket first bracket is 0 0.2 second bracket is 0 0.8 and then this is 6 out of I mean 6 C 0 right because 0 oranges are bad and then 0 0.2 power the 0 and then the 0 0.8 power 6 minus 0 6 that's it and then you key in your calculator and you will get 0 0.262 one okay question number two by the way before that i just want you guys to know i will be posting every monday wednesday and also friday so do subscribe okay number two the probability that mark 
will win in a chess competition 3 over 4. So from here, straight away we already know, even though we didn't read the question until the end yet, we already know that our P is going to be 3 over 4 and our Q is going to be 1 over 4, which is 1 minus 3 over 4 is 1 over 4. So, and then this situation are talking about Mark winning. So, number of time that Mark will win, that will be your X. Okay, and then N. Okay, let's continue reading. If he plays seven games, so the total number of games here is seven, so the N is seven. The question is, calculate the probability that he will win exactly four times. So we already have our X, P, Q, N. Okay? So what you should write now is P in the bracket, winning exactly four times. Then equivalent to P, X equivalent to four. And this is the easy part. C bracket bracket in the first bracket 3 over 4 in the second bracket 1 over 4 and then this is 7 out of 7 games he win 4 times so 7 C 4 and then this 4 will be the power for the first bracket 7 minus 4 is 3 3 will be the power for the second bracket there you have it and then you complete in your calculator and you will get 0 0.1730 question number three the probability that a bus will be late to a school is 0 0.15 so from here we already know that we are talking about number of time the bus going to be late to a school so which means that is already our x and the probability is 0 0.15 so this is our p which means our q gonna be 1 minus 0 0.15 which is 0 0.85 find that the probability in five particular days that the bus will be late for two days so from here we already know that we are talking the maximum is five five days so that is going to be our n so n is actually equivalent to five and then we have so we want the probability for two so we already have our x p q and also our n so p in the bracket the bus being late for two days equivalent to p x equivalent to two equivalent to this is the fun part c bracket bracket so in the first bracket it's going to be 0 0.15 and the second bracket 0 0.85 then out of five two days the bus are late so five c two and then this 2 is going to be the power for the first bracket and 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 is going to be the power of the other bracket. So that's it. And then you calculate using your calculator and you will get 0 0.1382. Question number 4. By the way, before that, please do subscribe. If you want me to make more and more video, Please do subscribe. I was just wondering, in, in here, Malaysia, I'll be teaching this to my students when they are in Form 5, which means Grade 11. Are you guys will be learning this in Grade 11 too? I'm just curious. So do let me know down below. The probability of a shooter hitting a target. So by just reading that, we already know the X going to be number of time hitting the target okay is 0 0.8 so p is going to be 0 0.8 and q going to be 0 0.2 because 1 minus 0 0.8 is 0 0.2 and then if he fires nine shoots so obviously the n is the maximum number so in this case it's going to be n equivalent to nine so the question is find the probability that it will hit the target 
for at least eight times. Hmm. This one you have to think a little bit, not just simply answer. So think. If you have nine questions in your exam, and I say you must get at least eight correct, what does that even mean? It means that you the the only way out from this exam is you must get eight correct or nine correct, right? So same scenario over here. So uh, at least eight means eight and nine because the maximum is nine. So P in the bracket at least eight times. Hitting the dagger at least eight times. Equivalent to P X equivalent to eight or I mean eight or nine, right? Or in probability we will write that as addition. So P X equivalent to eight plus P X equivalent to nine. Okay, this is the fun part again. So equivalent to C bracket bracket plus C bracket bracket. So in the brackets, it's obviously it's going to be our P, which is 0 0.8. So 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. And then for the first one, 9C8. For the second one, 9C9. And then this 8, we need to do as the power of the first bracket. And then 9 minus 8 is 1. So this 1, I bring it to the power of the second bracket. Okay? For the another one, this 9, 9 will be the power of the first bracket. 9 minus 9 is 0. So 0 will be the power of another bracket. Okay? And then you just complete this in your calculator and you can get 0 0.4362.